So the whole world now is looking for cooler sites, sites that give you proper balance of ripeness. So sugar ripeness with your acid dropping a little bit and phenolic ripeness or physiological ripeness. Now, if we talk specifically about Niagara on the Lake, you have all of that. You retain that vibrancy. I know I hesitate to call it acid, but that's what it is. It's acid retention that gives you vibrancy in a wine. So you get to have that, except we get that little extension. We get that little bit more warmth. So we get that little bit more ripeness, and we get that little bit more character. So it, it opens the door for a couple of things. It opens the door for a bit more flexibility, both in how ripe you harvest your grapes, but also in which grapes you're growing. Right? So we have a wide range of grapes growing in Niagara on the Lake. What's the most exciting? I don't know. I'm just super excited about Riesling, right? But I'm super excited about Riesling in general. But I find you get that extra honeyed and that extra ripeness. And I, I think more complexity, quite honestly, right? The, the same as the best Alsatian Rieslings have. Well, the best Niagara on the Lake Rieslings have. So the wines from Niagara on the Lake. They get that vibrancy. They get that cool climate drinkability that I love, that I love in all wines.